Where in Universal Studios Florida can you find most of an Abraham Lincoln statue? Universal Studios Florida is one of the most famous theme parks as well as being a part of Universal Orlando, one of the most successful theme park resorts. The reason is the push for quality since opening in 1990. From expanding on the successful themed experiences with working studio tours in California, to pushing the envelope prototypes and events that theme parks had not attempted before and excellent standards and guest service. For all the things that people notice about these qualities, the things that many guests will not notice in a theme park are equally as important. Some themed entertainment designers will tell you the difference is aiming for the minority who will care, because not only is that percentage still a lot of people, the ones who will not notice would in fact notice if those details were omitted. Which means every choice is intentional in shot or on stage from the color of the wallpaper to the color of a pen in a shirt pocket. None of these things happen without the talented people and trusted leadership. Lou Wasserman was both types of people in one. Lou Wasserman first shook up the world of entertainment as an agent for music and television with MCA, and eventually film production as well as movie studios when he helped acquire Universal Studios when it was purchased by MCA in 1962. And in turn, themed entertainment as well, when the tour Carl Lemley founded returned as a matured concept turned into a tram tour. A tribute for him exists within Universal Studios Florida. Just at the end of the New York section of the park, before heading into the San Francisco themed area, stands a statue of Lou Wasserman. As you pass famous businesses and familiar sites, from both the world of cinema and television, this prominent figure seems to fit in with the Gotham architecture. Or perhaps the tribute is also theming. Something that makes this different from other statue-based tributes, such as the most famous partner statue of Walt Disney's castle parks, would be that those seem to exist meta their themed lands. Not only is he carefully crafted with his head on Abraham Lincoln's body, but the statue becomes a part of the festivities. When not removed for safety and protection during special events, the statue has even had vines and decor wrapped around it to blend in with overgrown apocalyptic themes during Halloween Horror Nights. This eccentric movie magic and theme detail seems perfect for a man who played a major part in giving the world the Universal Studios glamour tram. Speaking of details, if you're wondering where Lou Wasserman's trademark glasses are, they are represented on the hand behind his back.